Where's the lace, friend? Where's Walt? Friend, where's the where's the lace? I'm back with somebody else's hair and guess what it is wine and wigs day clink 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 why'd I stutter like that <laughs> it's nothing but me and some green tea over here trying to make it through this day friend y'all go ahead and tell me what you're drinking down below like I said I'm drinking some green tea from Harney and Sons I think it's the cherry green tea before I go ahead and get into this wig I'm gonna go ahead and ask y'all for just you know what I'm uh, just a little itty bitty favor that I definitely need today can y'all just go ahead and hit subscribe and hit the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post. I'm trying to get to 70K by my birthday. And just so y'all know, my birthday is June 8th. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And then also tell them to actually watch the videos because then I look a fool. If y'all subscribe and don't nobody watch. <laughs> now, let's go ahead and get into this wig. I'm not trying to waste y'all time, okay? Uh, where's the box? What do I do with it? Okay. I want to say thank you to Nadula Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. They be serving up the curly wigs. Today is no different. Well, we'll see because I haven't even tried her on yet. When I received the wig, they sent it to me in a satin bag with the box in it, but it came in the satin storage bag. And inside of this bag, um, we have our Nadula hair box. And inside of the box, girl, I'm actually excited about this. Of course you received your wig. I've already washed the wig, so I'll tell y'all about the wig in a second. But inside of your box, you also receive gifts. We have our obligatory headband, boom. We have our lace uh, laying satin band. We have light skin wig caps, and a sachet, a little tea bag full of goodies. Inside of this bag, of course, we have, we have giraffe lashes, a little angel necklace. Oh girl, whose wig cap is this? A white wig cap and a wig grip, like one of those lace wig grips. They also sent me an extra gift and I think you possibly can purchase this on their Nadula hair website, but folding desktop phone stand. Now that we got all the little fun, cute little stuff out the way, we can go ahead and get into this wig. So this is our wig. I'm gonna go ahead and show you footage of what the wig looked like when it came out of the box. The knots have been bleached on this wig and it has already been washed and conditioned. So this is the 20 inch 13 by four HD Jerry Curly wig in 180% density. This is what the wig looks like after it is washed. This is the curl pattern. It's very, 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 very soft. So it's been pre-plucked. If you go ahead and look inside of the cap, we have three combs and adjustable straps in the back. Now, let's go ahead and get into applying this wig. I'm not trying to hold y'all. I know I'll be holding y'all for a long time. Y'all be having stuff to do and I'll be over here just running my mouth. So let's go ahead and get into applying this wig. I like to do a ball cap method adjacent. You know what I'm saying? And it takes two seconds. So this is what I like to do. I take a wig grip. This is the old crusty, dirty wig grip, but this is the wig grip nonetheless, girl. I got my wig grip from Amazon. Is that a piece of hair on my head? So on top of my wig grip, I will throw on a wig cap. Wow, this one's holy. So to make my wig cap look a little bit closer to my skin tone, I take this Instant Age Rewind Concealer. It has a little sponge tip on it. And what I like to do is just color her in just a little bit. Uh-oh. I just like to color her in so it's closer to my skin tone. You see that? Boom. Y'all, this is my ball cap method. Do I look bald to y'all? Let's put on the wig and see what she looks like when we toss her on. This wig looks really, really good, but y'all already know what time it is. I gotta do a little pluck Asian. Now, do I really wanna to do too much plucking or can I just leave it? <gasps> oh girl, this is gonna be big. Oh my God. <laughs> Y'all see that? It looks a little bit too thick. So I'm just gonna pluck a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit. Y'all know I got, I got, I got pluck eyes. okay? I feel like I gotta pluck when there ain't nothing, I don't even need to, but 
And how I typically like to pluck is go behind the hairline, right? And I like to pull some hair out, especially in the areas where it's a little thick. Typically I will pluck for like 15 to 30 minutes, depending on the density of the wig. Since this is already pre-plucked, well, I'm gonna pluck for maybe five minutes. I'm not gonna do too much because we don't have time. So I'm just gonna keep plucking and I do this all the way across the hairline. Once I feel like I'm satisfied with how much I've plucked behind the hairline, I don't need to even pluck on the front because they already did that. Y'all see that? Look at that. It's a huge difference. Y'all see that? Ooh. Now, on the sides, I'm just gonna do a little bit because I don't feel like doing this. I'm just gonna keep plucking across the hairline and then I'll be back. Um when it's time to mold the hairline. decided I'm doing a side part fight me if you want to now that we've established that we're gonna do a side part we can go ahead and flatten this hairline the way I make the hairline look a little bit more natural or like a little bit more realistic is to flatten it just a little bit shift it a little bit <laughs> shout out to Shrek when I flatten my hairline I like to use one product and one product only and that is the ZLA flattening souffle I like to use a mousse on my curly wigs because it kind of encourages the curls in the roots. The only thing is it'd be taking a long time to dry and I don't feel like it today, but. And what this does is it kind of flattens the hair backwards, which makes it look like it's growing out of your style. Like when you just apply the wig without making sure this hairline is out of the way, your little hairs are just gonna be everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Nadula little Rapiana that they gave me. Come on. And I'm gonna just flatten it like so. Oh. Girl, not the sideways, Bo. We're gonna tie it down until it dries. Now, typically, I can't hear a thing, girl. Typically it'll take about 30 minutes. You can also hit it with a blow dryer and get it to dry that way as well. But we'll wait about 15 to 20 minutes, let it dry, and then we'll get to cutting the lace. Um, I actually ended up blow drying it and it was so much quicker. So I like to reinforce the flatation with a hot comb. So I take my Andis hot comb I go through the roots. Now I love how these roots wave up, but I like for my roots just to be a little bit flat. So what I do is I pull my wig back because ain't nobody trying to burn their forehead. You only got one forehead. And for my curly wigs, I like to just take the back of the hot comb and flatten. Now, if I really want to get it like flat, flat, you can take the teeth of the comb and just kind of don't run through it, but just kind of flatten and hit it with the back of the comb. You see? But I'm not running through the curls because we're not trying to straighten those curls. I don't like that look. Flatten it out. Just a little bit, just right here in the roots. And we're just gonna do that all the way across the hairline. See? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, girl. Just get you a hot comb. Everybody needs one.
The hairline has been flattened and now all we need to do is cut off this lace. Now, did I leave my scissors where I put my scissors? Oh, I cut a wick. <laughs> I need to get wick cutters because I'm over here using I use my hair shears for everything, baby. It ain't right, but it's okay. I'm gonna make it anyway, girl. Shout out to Whitney. I need to go ahead and cut this lace. When I cut my lace, I cut in like a zigzag formation. The shape needs to be like you running from an alligator like this. You know what I like to, this is a short lace. Okay, y'all. Y'all better conserve your product. Okay, so I like to cut down the middle, the middle. I cut down the sides and when I'm doing the sides, I do like a, <gasps> do I need to tint this lace? I'm not going to tint it. I'm going to see if I, if I can get by without tinting this lace. Let's see. Frankly, I don't feel like it. So I'm just going to cut this all the way across and then in a zigzag motion. Take your time. Girl, that look a little bit light. I wonder if it's gonna melt though. I guess we'll see if we can make it melt, but we're gonna keep going and cutting. Place is giving too light for me and what I'm not gonna do is be out in these streets because I'm planning on going outside today what I'm not gonna do is end up with a halo so I need to tint this lace it is HD lace which means it's really soft it looks like it's gonna melt into the skin but I'm a brown skin girl I'm not I'm not playing with that so I'm gonna go ahead and take my lace tint this is the flawless illusions Calendaric lace tint spray. I use the color medium brown. This is my favorite lace tint spray. You can fight me about it, okay? I can't fight, you probably gonna beat me up, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit it with some um, lace tint spray. I just spray into the cap. Now this stuff is messy, so I like to spray it towards the floor. It's all over my foot. I need to make sure I take a shower tonight because that's not gonna get in my bed, no ma'am. Ooh, girl, I got it on the carpet. I probably shouldn't have done that. Ooh. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, blow dry and set this lace tint. So let's just do that real quick. Get the blow dry on high and warm. Halo, it's gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now let's go ahead and get into applying this wig. So this is the Wig Dealer Touch Up Gel. I love this gel. I love it for curly wigs because the way I use her, y'all can't stop me, honey. And the way this product works is it has like a silicone tip and you just brush it onto your forehead. Like you just put the product on your forehead. So now this is where it starts to get a little bit messy for me. I never know where to place my gel, girl. I don't know what I'm doing. I like to work in sections because this stuff dries pretty quick. Let it dry down a little bit. Then we apply the wig. And then we'll just keep working in sections. It's really, really easy, really simple.
for the hairline to dry. I'm gonna cut this hair a little bit. But the ends are a little dry. They look crispy. They're giving very much lace. They're giving very much Cheeto. I really don't need to cut it, but I'm just gonna cut like some of the ends off. Just like a little bit. And keep it light. See, I'm just like getting those little dusty ends. What do you call this, dusting? No, these parts of the ends, I'm just gonna part it down the middle and just do a little clip of the ends. I'm just gonna cut them across like this. Do y'all cut y'all wigs like this? How do y'all cut yours across so that they're even? Mine are never even, so I don't even... Will it be even? So I just grab random sections of the wig and just cut downwards in an angle so it still keeps that very round shape. See right here how this is like jutted out? I don't like that. So I'm gonna take this section and I'm just gonna angle it downwards like this. So now that that's done, now we can, girl, I can't hear nothing. This scarf is covering my whole earlobe. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and work through the curls of this wig. We're gonna go ahead and use our coconut and hibiscus frizz-free curl mousse. And I love using it on my curls in combination with my Evolve 572 brush to clump up the curls. While this hairline is melting into the skin, we're gonna go ahead and saturate this wig. We're gonna saturate this wig with some mousse. I'm gonna clip away this side as well. Do I have a hair tie? No, I never have a hair tie, like ever. That's dramatic, sometimes I do. Do y'all always use water with yours? I know the girls usually do that, but I, I don't even like the look that just water gives. It just don't clump up the curls like I want it to. But I do end up using a lot more product than I need to, but I mean, I'm adding the mousse to the hair and I take my Evolve 572 brush and I just comb it through like this. It immediately clumps up the curls like that. And I like to twirl my finger just to encourage the curl. You see that? Ew. So I'm just gonna do this and work through the hair, work through the curls and use a diffuser to blow dry it and get the curls dry. And then I'll be back when it's time to reveal the hairline because this hairline's about to be <laughs> baby. So I'll be back then. So let's keep working through the curls.
Okay, I'm popping in to show y'all the hairline. The hair is like, I would say the hair is about 50% dry. Just been air drying this whole time. It actually is air drying pretty quick, which is good. I wanted to pop back in and show y'all the hairline. Y'all, when I took that bandana off or whatever, it was a mess. I put too much um, product on it, but Look at that. It's melting into the skin. The warmness of the lace tint looks gorgeous on this. And then when I put on my makeup, it's definitely gonna match. But where is the lace? You cannot see it. Let me get up close. For the girls, it's gonna hate. <laughs> Ain't nobody be hating. But let me get up close so you can see what's up. We don't even need baby hairs, but it's a baby hair channel over here. So we're gonna go ahead and do baby hairs then I'm gonna, what is this on my shirt? Did I drool? So let's see. I'm gonna take, my baby hairs are usually in this area. Girl, this hair is tacked down. I have to ply these up, oh my God. Yeah, this is hard. We're just gonna comb this out. That's the only thing about Putting all that stuff on your edges, girl. It's just gonna be a mess. We have the hair out that we wanna use for our baby hair. And what I like to do is cut it down. Y'all already know the drill. Y'all know how we do. I'll cut it down real short. I probably shouldn't have done that because I don't even got my baby hair. I guess this is gonna have to be my baby hair brush. And I'm going to lay down the baby hairs. Where is me gel? I'm gonna use the got to be glued gel. And we're gonna lay down these baby hairs real quick. And when I lay down baby hairs, I like, I don't like, I like for it to be like a natural swoop, especially with curly hair. I like for it to look like, oh, is that her hair? Oh, there's always one. Y'all see how it just looks like edges? It's not really, baby hairs like that like that it's not really a baby hair this time it's just like a little swoop i'm gonna do the same thing on this side um i got a little rogue hair right here i'm also gonna do the ear tab so i'll take a little sliver of hair here and kind of just lay it down. Oh girl, the lace is lifting. I only do like these four points. Any more than that, to me, it starts to look a little wiggy and I don't like that wiggish look. I like to give, maybe she's born with it. You know what I mean? They're gonna be similar to this, more of like just a hairline swoop than just like a baby hair. Let's keep going.
Okay, y'all, so we did all the baby hairs. Now this baby hair, uh, girl, they're giving like, they're not even baby hairs. They're like zygotes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so now I just need to dry my hair. So I'm gonna use my Revlon diffuser to get this hair completely dry. We're gonna throw on a beat, fluff her out, and we'll be done. So I'm excited to see how this is gonna end up looking, girl. This is, has this has been an all day affair. We started at four o'clock and it's 7.54. So we're gonna use our Revlon blow dryer and diffuser to dry this hair. And then I'll be back at the end with a full beat and the full look. This wasn't too shabby, girl. Uh -oh. I should probably wrap up these baby hairs, but let me dry them a little bit. did it look at this y'all see this hair y'all see what she's giving y'all see what she looking like do y'all see this hair it's absolutely gorgeous let's go ahead and let's let's bypass the hair let me let me show y'all this lace in this hairline now th this is what hd lace gives and um i what are we talking about hd where is the lace though that's what i want to know I like to walk up on my husband and ask him what he thinks and he'll look at the lace and be like, that's a good wig. And this was one of those wigs where he looked, tried to look at the lace. Where's the lace friend? Where's Walt? Friend, where's the, where's the lace? But other than that girl, what are we talking about? Nadula, girl, I see what you're doing over there. And I like it because this, this lace is everything. Lace aside, let's go ahead and get into this hair. Absolutely stunning, absolutely gorgeous. It is giving everything that you need. Like what are we, the curls, y'all see these curls? Beautiful, natural, pretty. Let me actually show you what it looks like in the back. Like look at this movement. Like, look at that. Like, come on. Like, are y'all are y'all playing with me? Who's playing with me? This is a joke. April's over, it's not even April Fool's. Like, what are we doing? Y'all tell me what you think about this wig down below. I wanna say thank you to Nadula Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video. 
I'll leave all of the links to this wig down below as well as the coupon code. So y'all already know what, what it is. Y'all already know what it gives over here. It gives very much coupon code. So there are two coupon codes and I'll leave them in the description box because I don't want to get them wrong. I don't want to get them wrong. I'll leave those coupon codes down below. Get your money off sis, it's summertime. We spending money on bodycon dresses. <laughs> People don't wear bodycons no more. Girl, I'm showing my age. We spending money on trips, okay? I want to thank you all so, 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 so much for watching. I appreciate you subscribing. I appreciate you commenting. I appreciate you, I appreciate you just for looking at the video if you don't say nothing. I just appreciate you being here. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. I'm about to go do my nails. <laughs> oh my God. That reaction. Girl, get help. <laughs> Oh, not lipstick. Anyways, bye y'all. Love you all. Bye. <laughs>